Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of splenic hemangioma. We commonly get it during liver ultrasound, but you can also get it in spleen. And fortunately, this is the most common benign tumor of the spleen. A 62-year-old male diabetic patient came for a routine ultrasound checkup. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Hey, you can see the long section of the spleen. It looks quite bulky. There is a hyperechoic homogeneous mass at the upper pole. You can see this is the diaphragm, so this is the upper end. And this mass extends up to the mid part of the spleen. The mass is well defined and you can see the margin out here. You can see a tiny cystic space, either it's a blood vessel or it might be a necrotic part. We can understand that using color Doppler. Here you can see another view and now you can see the mass quite well from the intercostal space. You can see the vessel is slightly compressed out here at the periphery. So this homogeneously hyperechoic, well-defined round mass within the splenic parenchyma is the splenic hemangioma. Here's the still picture. You can see the mass with internal cystic space at the upper and mid splenic parenchyma. Here you can see the color Doppler image and you can see that cystic space doesn't show any flow within, indicating a necrotic space. You can see predominantly peripheral vascularity and the vessels are giving branches towards the center. Usually splenic hemangiomas are not too much vascular, but sometimes you may see this type of vascularity. The mass is around 7 cm in size, and you can see predominantly peripheral vascularity and also some internal flow seen. Here we have taken color Doppler pictures from different angles, and you can see predominantly peripheral flow, which gives central supply also. Now here we have used power Doppler and now you can see the vascularity of the lesion. When you will use contrast ultrasound or contrast enhanced CT, then on arterial phase you will see enhancement of this lesion. Here is the still picture of the power Doppler image. Now here we are using the B flow that gives an angiogram like picture. This technique is based on grayscale ultrasound and you can get an angiogram like picture here. Now here you can see the peripheral flows and these are the branches giving supply to the center. So in summary, a large well-defined round homogeneously echogenic solid space occupying lesion is noted in the upper and mid splenic parenchyma. Color Doppler shows predominantly peripheral but also some internal vascularity. This feature is concluded as a case of splenic hemangioma. Now the take home message. In case of a large splenic hemangioma, always try to check for any adjacent collection or any peritoneal collection. This is important in patients with acute pain to exclude hemorrhage from this hemangioma. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. We're also arranging webinars for our local students. So if you are from Bangladesh, don't forget to check our website for next webinar schedule. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.